hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to do press-ons but making them last just going to add that walgreens don't want me to be great because they stuck that ugly sticker on the front now i'm probably going to have to use a picture off of google ciao anyway so i'm going to call this the pandemic press-ons because how i was up in five different stores trying to find press-ons was a nightmare and so that's a pandemic in itself like i literally played myself though because the first place i went had these but i was like no i can find a nicer packet somewhere else no i should have just bought it at the first store i went to then went on home so it comes with the little file the stick to push your cuticles back um at first i went in with like an e-file because like that's just like second nature to me before i start any type of nails i use my e-file so if you have an e-file and you want to use it for this sake go ahead and do it because it's quicker anyway but for the sake of just using the contents of this packet only because i'm assuming that's what most people are going to do when they buy a pack of press on nails i said let me just use the stuff that it comes with make it easy so filed my nails well no that's a damn lie pushing back my cuticles i didn't have like much to push back because i just done my nails like a couple of weeks before this so they were okay but now i'm filing them with the little file i thought this was going to take forever but it didn't take that long it took about in real time it took like five minutes for both hands but um if you do have an e-file and want to use that go ahead and do that because that will be less time whilst i'm filing i also realized in the beginning i showed you the glue that comes in the pack and then I showed another glue like the thicker bottle you can use like any of Kiss's glues like I think they're all literally the same thing in different packaging because I've used the one in the bigger bottle and I've used the one that comes in the actual press on nails and they last the same to me Now I'm gonna dust the nails off and then this is the key part alcohol so you want to wipe down like each fingernail with alcohol and the higher percentage of alcohol you have the better because you want your nails dry like Sahara Desert dry because once you put the glue on your nail and you stick the press on nail onto your nail it's not going anywhere because it's just like the most perfect surface for it to be stuck on so as you can see i emptied it out on the table at this point because when it's in the packet they're all stuck under each other and it's annoying so i just tip the whole thing out but right now what i'm doing is seeing which size press on nail fits on my nail so if you're not lucky like some and you can't find the perfect size nail to go on top of your nail um you don't want it to be small so if anything you want it to be a little bit bigger than your nail than smaller because if it's smaller it looks stupid you can see your real nail just shining on the sides and it looks terrible so you want it to be bigger if anything because if it is bigger you can file around it just slightly so that it fits and i'll do that later on so you can see Okay, here I cheated a little bit um please don't come for my neck in the comments please um I'm just filing underneath the press-ons because it's another crucial step into getting these to stay on a lot longer by the way I will show me using the regular file that comes in the pack to do this same step so you guys can see how to do it if you don't have any file okay 
Okay, so this step I'm about to do, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna slow it down, but I'm filing around like where the nail would meet my cuticle because this press on is just like a tiny bit bigger than my uh, thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny. Uh, the first thing I thought of was, oh, ironic, YouTube thumbnail. But let me get back to the point. So I filed the sides just like ever so slightly, just to modify the size a little bit so that it would then in turn fit my thumb. Oh yeah, quick disclaimer, I'm double jointed in my thumbs, so that's <laughs> why my thumbs are so bendy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Two key tips here. Number one, don't get too excited with the glue, because if you do, it's going to seep out and it's going to look ugly, and you don't want that. Number two, this might not apply to everyone, but if this is your first time doing it or you still don't quite have the hang of doing it, I would save your thumbnails till last so that you can easily pick up the nails off of the table that you're working on. Also, you wanna hold down the nail firmly for about 10 to 15 seconds. Anything less than that, I'm sorry, your nail's coming off right away. The minute you go to open the microwave, your nail is coming off. Okay, here you see me filing the sides. Sometimes the nail will kind of be on your skin a little bit and I just file enough of it away so that it's no longer on my skin. You don't have to do this, but I do it just for like a flawless finish. But that's what I'm doing. However, you want to do this at an angle because if your nail has a design like this nail that I'm doing, it had like a, a chrome finish. If you file like right next to it, you'll file the design off and you might be able to notice it, you might not, but just I wouldn't do it right on the side. Do it at an angle which is like a little bit underneath the nail.
had to switch to my regular sized file man because the small one just I don't know I don't like it but here I'm filing off the tabs that are on the top of the nail so I'm guessing like in the factory where they pull them apart what honestly I don't even know what I'm talking about but there's like tabs at the top of the nail and you want to file those off because if you don't it looks stupid and I am done so key tip here key tip key tip key tip don't get your hands wet for like two three hours it will help allow the glue to stick even better I'm also going to add some pictures because again my camera didn't do these nails no justice but don't get them wet and don't put any cuticle oil on it thanks for watching like comment subscribe all that good stuff see you in my next video